Oh god. Oh my god, I almost died. Look at that. What's up gang? We're out here at the EUC Famous Fullerton Loop. Today I have the Master. It's been a while. The newest thing I got on the wheel that I haven't showed, I guess, would be these pedals, which are pretty freaking rad. These are the new Grizzla pedals with like customizing grub screws and a little TPU here in the front and the back of it. Been having a lot of fun with it. It's been gripping my feet real well. The pad setup, the Velcro is fucking awesome compared to some other stuff that I've tried in the past. I'm going to attempt to try to speed run this and uh, hopefully no falls and hopefully no washouts or anything. As a uh, pavement princess myself, let's see how I do up against the Fullerton loop. I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. It's definitely a beautiful day out here in Fullerton. Weather's perfect. Gonna go up this thing. Yeah. Catch some air there, hell yeah. And uh, see what kind of uh, see what kind of damage we can do. I'm not running Strava or anything, I'm just gonna send it in. Feel good about myself, try to be careful with the pedestrians as always. Oh, go right here. Yum, yum, yum. That's always fun. My rim is uh, Oh, I didn't even show it at the beginning there. I should have showed it, but my rim's pretty fucked from the last time I uh, che checked in with a video. Gonna slow down here for the pedestrian. Alrighty, kick it back. Yeah, so the last time I uh, made a video, my rim was in really good shape. And uh, a few weeks ago, oh yeah. A few weeks ago, I went out to San Diego to ride with uh, Brian Diller and uh, he took me through, my, my buddy and I, my David. David and I car pulled up to San Diego to ride with Brian and holy shit, his backyard trail is so sick. It's got car jump, uh, it's got like big jumps and stuff. Anyway, I was trying to do this really massive jump. Well, to me it was massive. I'm coming from a uh, pavement princess. How's it going? Perspective. Anyway, I uh, kept kind of casing the jump. I was having a really hard time trying to embrace the air as I, I lack experience in that department. Anyway, my rim was really screwed up from, from that. And uh, yeah, thankfully, so I'll stop right ahead here and, and show you guys. Oh, there's little kids over there. I don't want to scare the moms and the dads, so I'm gonna go around that. No biggie. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's a kid. Hey, buddy. Kind of wanted to go down that, but I don't want to scare any moms or dads. I think mostly moms. Anyway, the rim's pretty screwed up, but it's good enough to ride, so. We're gonna send it. Keep sending it. Oh yeah, baby. The high road. Oh, clear right, clear left. You got a green light. Oh, we're gonna keep sending, baby. This is such a fun trail. I've been coming out here now for uh, a couple times and I've been trying to get the hang of it. This is probably my fourth time here. Woo! And uh, I've been having a blast just trying to figure out, I guess off-roading in general and like, and this trail, cause it's just such a fun freaking rip. <laughs> yeah! Nice jump there. Nice right-hander with a little jump in there. <laughs> Stay right. To carry speed. So the tire I have on right now is a really worn down Shinko 241. My buddy gave KB used to rock on his OG Sherman a few years back. I'm definitely feeling like I might need a new wheel soon. Because I've been having a lot of issue with traction recently. So, oh, this is such a fun rip. We're gonna slow down. How's it going? 
having some trouble with traction recently and uh, I think it might be time for a Nina Ami tire. I think I'm gonna stick with the Shinko 241 because it's it's been pretty good so far. I mean, up until it's slowly kind of degrading. But I guess I'll show you what I'm talking about with the uh, with the bend on that rim I have here going on. Whoop! There it is. It's a nice little smiley face, a little frown face, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, I think that happened when I was out in San Diego trying to figure out how to catch air. You know, I kept casing some majestic jumps. Had a great time though. All right, let's send it. That light is notorious for taking forever to change. All right, so this section up here, it's kind of a fun little rip. Here we go, baby. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That is so fun. So watching Roger's videos woo, for some time now, um, and every time you watch it and he goes to that section, it's like, okay, just a little uphill. It's quite massive uphill. It is, I mean, from a pavement princess's perspective, it's kind of massive, but for some people it might not be. Anyway, I remember when I hit it the first time, I was actually blown away by how freaking steep it was, but getting more used to it now. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's my tire just angry. angrily rolling through the day. So to continue the route here. Gonna hit the train tracks with a little jump there, a little kicker. Now I still haven't really figured out how to catch air on wheels, so I'm still a baby, still a chicken when it comes to catching air. I'm definitely not like Max. Max is I swear he's like a mountain goat. He just likes doing stuff. Here we go, a little kicker here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's fun. Yeah. I still haven't quite figured out how to catch air on these wheels. Uh, but I still try. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, we slow down, the intersection, train tracks. Jump of this hit. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. Make sure to look both ways, it's clear. All right, nice. Like saying to the right there. It's efficient. But yeah, this Florida Loop has been such a blast. Has helped me like figure out how to ride on, on dirt. As a uh, as a strictly woo, as a strictly track rider for like the past five years, so I highly recommend it. If you're in town or or if you're local, definitely hit up this track. This this trail. This trail is amazing. It's beginner friendly. Obviously, you don't have to go like super fast. But I'm kind of tr I'm trying to push myself a little bit this time with the camera on. Oh yeah, fun little thing there. Yeah, this is the full exam loop. Oh, we got a runner on the mountain bike. Yeah. And then, intercept soon. All right. Going through this section here, which has one little jump in it. Try to stay on the dirt. The right hander. Funk. Slow it a little bit hard. Just try to keep it falling fast. Slow down because woo, I've yet to figure out how to catch air, but we're trying. Woo. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's such a fun little thing. It's definitely not. It's 
it's not like a Anaheim Hills hard like Rogers videos, but it makes you feel like you're graduating. And you can kind of feel your own progression coming out to this track. It's kind of nice, or this trail. I keep saying track, I'm so used to saying track. Clear left, clear right. Oh, my feet are starting to fatigue. That's okay, I can stop when I'm dead. No, I'm kidding. I don't want to die, not yet. We still got time. We still got a lot to discover, a lot to see. <laughs> Just like to jump over everything because my rim is pretty screwed up already. Oh yeah, that's another reason why I don't like to have too much air. My rim is... Yeah, my rim. Anyway. Here we are. <laughs> oh, that's such a fun rip right through there. Clear left, clear right. I feel a burn in my feet and my leg. Catch a little bit of air here. This one's fun. This is where my buddy David took a spill there when he landed. He didn't land super right. This section is kind of a trip, actually. Here we go. Here we go. Drop down. Smack the lip. Whoop. Oh yeah, let's stay, stay right. Not pedal clip. Fun little section. Feels like a chance. Oh shit, oh shit, pedal clip twice, but we saved it. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, not bad for a pavement princess, am I right? Oh, here we go. Oh, don't pedal clip. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's such a sick rip. Here we go. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I survived. Not only double pedal clip to the there. <laughs> Might have been because of that TPU I have on the pedals, actually. That just smacks through those tree trunks and rocks. A little drop here. If you hold it enough, you can ride the side. And just because my rim is too screwed up, I don't want to drop down too hard. Okay, I'm gonna sit down for a little bit. That's a fun kicker. Not gonna do it today because my rim. Anyway, um, give my legs a little bit of a rest. They're, they're screaming at me right now. <laughs> I agree. I'm on the dirt again. Oh. oh, dear lord. Okay. Oh, I hate to say it, but I need to take a little break because my feet feel like they're going to cramp up any moment. I guess if I break, I mean, just ride a little bit slowly. Oh, my feet are so cramping up. Okay, all right, back to it. That's a nice little break. Yeah. Such a fun rip through here. Try to stay to the right as much as I can. A little drop. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Good time. Some loose, loose dirt through here. Try to make this little jump. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Firefighter. I almost sent that light too hard. That's a good gap right there. I mean, for a pavement princess, am I right? It's like, what's that, like 10 feet or something? I don't know. I'm proud of myself. That's all I'll say. Woo! Now this one over here on the right hand side is a little tricky because it's it gets tight and you gotta like dodge a big old tree root. This one right here, it's gnarly. Oh, at least you like to jump over it. Oh yeah, here we go. You gotta brake hard because you gotta turn right. Oh, I gotta... My feet are kind of feeling. How's it going? Hi, good, thanks. Oh, my feet are just not having it. I wonder what 
is causing that. I don't normally get that kind of fatigue on the on the racing on the track. <laughs> Can't miss this little section. Well, like I want a speed run, but also I'm fatiguing, so. All right, let's send it. Yoo! Oh yeah. Love catching some high speed, high speed air. Yes, sir. Oh my God, I almost died. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I love me a good close call. Oh my God, so what happened there? I was going into the turn, the whole wheel jumped up in the air while I was turning. Somehow I stayed in it. I don't know how I stayed in it, but holy shit. <laughs> I could feel like my hip just like, dude, what the fuck did you just do? <sighs> All right, baby, we're back in it, baby. Let's go. All right. Smooth little area, I like going through here, kind of a decent pace because it feels good. Yeah. <laughs> Jump over this little tree root there. Yes, sir. All right, nice. Hang left because there's a fun little two drop here, a couple drop. Bang, bang, boom. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, that's a good time. Come on. All right. God, I wish I got that on video. Whatever the fuck the wheel just did. Where I almost fell, that was gnarly. That would have been a, a hurtful fall. Yup. Ah, and then jump. Oh yeah, to a little drop. I was gonna jump. Try not to take my head on these branches. A little kicker there. All right. Let's try to bonk this. Hell yeah, made it through there alive. Ooh. So this section that's coming up, the first time I went through it, Roger got it on video. It was kind of embarrassing, but also really fulfilling. It took me like a solid 10 minutes to go from here down to there. <sighs> Only because there's very little room for fuck ups, basically. And holy shit. Are my feet tired? But that's okay, because mentally we're still in it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do there, hopefully, if it goes smoothly, do the first drop, run into the tree, hug it, stop, set up for the next drop, and then right off. So, let's see if we can do that. All right, let's go. Uh, hug the tree, okay. Okay, even the wheel hugged the tree. That was kind of cool, actually. Okay, we hugged the tree, now we're gonna do the second drop. All right, here we go, boys. Oh yeah, it's actually not bad at all, but I swear to God, off-roading is like mostly mental, just like most things in life, I guess, but like, yeah. Now it's just jumping. Whoa, hanging left. And then we got a big uphill section, rest in peace calf muscles. Oh. Try not to lose too much momentum, because of all the bumps. All right. Oh, shit, here we go. This is a fun little section. Oh, hell yeah. Just a little bit of air there. Whoop. It's a little bonk. And now we're going downhill. Downhill is fun because my legs get to rest a little bit. They're not so tense going downhill. Reminds me when I was a kid, my dad used to take us to the trails. Turnbull Canyon, my mom and I. We used to do Chino Hill State Park. I normally rest there, but my legs are okay right now since I rested up there for a little bit. Oh, Ooh, people. Okay, we got a slogan. Hey guys. I can't even say thanks correctly. Okay, we're back to it. You! Skibbity hop. Skibbity bop. Oh, hell yeah. Got a lot of hitting little jumps while going at its speed. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's such a gnarly rip. Oh yeah, baby. Oh my God, how bad for a pavement princess. Let's fucking go. Oh my God. 
I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm feeling sandy today. I'm feeling extra sandy. <laughs> oh yeah. Can I let my feet rest a little bit? Woo! My tire is really angry at me, as you can see. But you haven't broken up on me yet. Thankfully, she hasn't given up on me yet. I think it'll be worth it. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. Back to it, baby. Back to it. Got a little break from my legs there. All right, now we're going uphill. Rest in peace, calves. Calf muscles out the door. Oh, God. That wrong. All right, here we go. Accelerate hard. Accelerate hard. Woo! Yes, sir. Here we go. Oh, nice jump there. Again. Oh, you're right, sir. Thank you very much. Sorry. Right, right side. Uh, he said something. I don't know what he said. He's probably not happy that I was kind of zoomed past him. I gave him enough room, though, so... I always kind of fuck up here. Not today. Let's go. Kind of actually. Slow down a lot. Okay. We're going again. <laughs> this is that EUC famous drop that the Marty and his gang always... Oh, shit. Almost fucked it up. Always do. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Whew. Now, if I turn around, this is probably going to look really familiar. That. <sighs> now here, my goal is to go up that. I got it once, successfully. And uh, can I do it again? I don't know. It's honestly kind of freaky, but I'm gonna try. Because that's what we're here to do, baby. We're here to try things and succeed, hopefully. All right, here we go, let's send it. Oh, I did it, I did it. That was the smoothest time. That was the smoothest one I've done so far. That was actually so easy. Okay, another thing to note about off-roading, I guess mentioned it before, it's really scary. It's always really scary, right? Like that, that's fucking terrifying. Um, so off-roading is really scary and uh, a lot of it is just getting over the initial like, oh my God, that looks insane. And uh, pushing forward after that because when you do it, 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 you realize that the wheels that we have here now in 2024, they're just so freaking capable and they have so much power that when you get to the top of say that, for example, and I'm dropping the wheel because I sat on it wrong. Okay. I'm losing my train of thought as well. I like to lose that one. Um, so yeah, the wheels are so powerful these days that it's like, these days I've only been EU seeing for like two years now, um, that you realize when you get to the top of a challenge like that, they're like, holy shit, yeah, this wheel is super capable of, of like doing a lot more than I think I can do. So there's a lot of, uh, from a pavement princess's perspective, there's a lot of room to grow when you're doing off-roading. There's a lot of excitement and uh, a lot of a lot of good challenges. And um, yeah, it's scary, but do it because it's gonna make you better. <laughs> like doing this. This is I fucked it up the first time I did it. Oh yeah. Oh god. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get back to it. So don't get up. All super inspirational now. Anyway, try things that are scary. You're gonna do great. Believe in yourself, first and foremost, that you can do it. And then have fun. Hell yeah. Okay, I don't wanna catch up to the mountain bike because it scare them again, so. We're gonna wait up a little bit up ahead here. So this little section's really fun because, did I just destroy my shotgun? Might have. Okay, I don't see mountain bike. I'm gonna double check the wheel, make sure the rim's not super even more twisted and scary looking. Okay. Okay. It looks about the same twisted and scary looking as it already was, so. Yeah, I'm gonna keep riding. Alright. Now, this section's a high speed jumpy section. This one also took carriage to go through because you pick up speed and then you hit some fast jumps. It's kind of crazy. 
they hit the loose dirt. As long as you chase straight and you hit it at a certain speed, you're gonna do great. Woo! <laughs> Oh my god, this is such a fun rip. You get brake card, and then, oh, oh shit, here we go. You brake card, because then, yeah. Okay. That's such a fun rip. Okay. Clear enough, clear enough, let's send it. Okay. Alright. That section is a blast. I need some water. We'll be getting some water pretty soon here. Such a really nice neighborhood. Imagine living here. With Jillian Dollar House. Right next to the Fullerton Loop. Wake up in the morning, just ride your ESC. For work. Chat for the squirrels. Oh, this is so fun. I swear I can't get enough of it. Rubbles are slipping to the side there. We're gonna stay high on the right. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, this is a fun section. Don't perish the trees. All right, slow down for the kids. Let's go. <sighs> Hell yeah, let's get some water, because I think I'm dehydrated a little bit with all the foot cramping I'm dealing with. Alright, we're back. Got some water. Find out by this little creek. Usually you see some dudes out here practicing their the lion throwing. Oh look, we got the lower one. Hey guys. Uh yeah. Got some water. Hopefully, was it recording the whole time? I think I was. The lady getting her stretches in. I'm gonna stay on the, on the right lane here. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Yeah, you can hear my wheel really squeaking now. Uh, yeah, that was gonna. It's kind of concerning, but I think I'm okay. Roger was saying, he's like, yeah, I rode with a crack rim on my Sherman for a year. And I was like, okay, well, this one's not crack. It's only bent, so it should be okay. All right, right here, we're going to stay to the right. Because a fun little rip. Oh, if I can get my footing right. And then we're going to pick up some speed. Oh, uh, not too much speed, because we got to go left. Yeah, baby, here we go. <laughs> That's always a fun time. Oh, I gotta be careful there because the mountain wants to shoot you off to the right. Well, the hill does, not the mountain. You can hold some good speed through there. Woo! Accelerate out. All right, let's go. All right, we're gonna hang left. Oh, yeah. Try to get a little jump in here. You! Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go to right. this place. This one right here is so fun. If you don't oversend it like I almost did there. Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Always hang right. Do these little side quests because they are a thrill. Here we go. Accelerate hard. Accelerate hard. Okay, oh, okay here we go. Drop! Oh yeah, survive the drop. Get back on throttle. It's a little tight here, so be careful. <laughs> be careful with tree service on down to the left. Carry on and have a good rest of the rip. <laughs> that is such a fun rip. I'm gonna go left here, do a little drippy drop. Yoink! Oh yeah, ride the wall a little bit because that's always a good time. And we ride the train tracks again, like we did earlier. We ride near that, we go. Here we go, pick up pace a little bit. 
There's a little jump there, but I'm not super stoked on the jumps. I like, I like to go. Oh yeah, a little jump there. Pencil through it, like Brian would say. Brake really hard, hang right. A little camber turn, just kind of nice. Picks you up and pulls you through the turn. Those are really fun. I'd like to go through here because there's a little jump right there. All right, clear left, clear right. And then we arrive to this place. Now Roger likes to take the gang through there and then ride down the rocks, but I, I'm not a fan of that, but it's all good. Teach their own choices. We ride the wall here a little bit, catch some air. Woo! And there's another one here, a little bit bigger. Woo! So, yeah, baby. Now we're gonna hang right because this right, it gets super sandy and, and sick. Finish. Okay, did I mention Super Sandy? Because I tried to do that this time and it didn't work. But that's okay because you can try again. <laughs> oh man, that was a trip. I went into that a little too hot. Well, that's right because we can backtrack my pad on the left side definitely moved. Can't even squeeze my leg in there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Boy, that that move for sure. Let's see if that's okay. Okay, that's good enough. All right, let's try it again, round two. There we go, I think I pedal clipped there really hard. Now to shoot me to the left. <laughs> that was terrifying, but also really good times. The great thing about falling in like dirt and bushes and shrubs is that it's not asphalt or concrete, so it's very nice actually. All right, all right, we're back on the trail. Nice little jump there, put some speed in it. We can hit this jump here on the right. Yeah, that's a good time. Skip all of those tree roots because we can. Too ready to make the sharp left. It's nice because it's a camber jump. Up high, ride the wall, come back down. Ride this mini wall. And then take a break because the legs are tired. Assess what we have done. Yeah, it's 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 kind of goaded falling off-road because you're not falling on this, you know. This is this hurts a lot. I mean that hurt fall didn't honestly didn't really hurt. There was just a lot of rolling and tossing and and plants and critters probably that I probably smashed with the wheel and anyway we're alive the wheel still works so I don't want to oh here we go the super course fun too all right here we go for the turn oh this fun this part's really fun <laughs> that's so sick you gotta crash down get low hang left I think then we're back on the main trail we go left here and then right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely right. Last thing I want though is like little ticks and critters by my ankles and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna make sure whatever's poking me on my ankle is not a tick or a little critter or, or anything. All right, no critters, we're good. Alright, so now this part right here is really fun to do. It's like a really steep half those sections and then if you come back down it leads to a little jump here that I refuse to do because 
I haven't graduated to that yet. That's all right. So we're gonna do the uphill. There we go. The goal here is to keep traction down and not lose too much momentum. And then we do that. Yeah, baby, we actually made it. I had to put my hand down, but I actually did it. Rock on, baby, let's go. Okay. All right, nice. I'll graduate to that jump pretty soon. I believe in it. All right, we're gonna carry on here through the rest of the trail. Ooh, nice little jump there. Speedy jump. Jump with the squirrels. Watch out for the loose dirt on the left hand there. Try to stay right in the middle of the track because it has the least amount of loose dirt. Wow. Oh yeah. Then right here, I think that's pretty cool. That's a dam right there, which is nice. But if you hang left here, there's a fun little trail that leads up to, oh, up to there. Yeah, here we go. Come on, come on. Yes, sir. There's some peak cactus. Ah. Try not to fall in the crevices. Oh, I lost a lot of momentum there. That's okay. Oh God, we almost lost it, but we did it. All right, Mike, nope, nope, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna lean forward. Oh. Not the most effective place to put the camera because it's right beneath my face. This little area here is kind of fun. Oh yeah, that was good. Never done it like that. This little area goes downhill. Hits a little area there. And it shoots off to the right here. Yeah. <laughs> Such a fun little section there. It's a nice little feature. It kind of veers a little away from the main trail, but that's okay because it's a good time. So this trail here, I've got to gap that little guy and then head back to the main trail. We're gonna have to gap another one up ahead here. Here it is. Yeah, that's not too hard. Basically like de-weight a little bit. You know what? That was a dude chill in there. I've never seen them in there. But I guess it's only my fourth time, so. Okay. Now we go downhill. Yeah, babe, let's go. I'm gonna go back up. Oh yeah. I think we go right here. I don't quite recall where to go down, but that's fine. Yep. Let's do this section here. We'll go this way. I guess we can go right here. Whoa. I think I did this at night with Max. One time we brought the group out here. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Good thing there wasn't any cars coming through there. All right. I think that's pretty much the Fullerton Loop right there, folks. My God. I gotta get back to the car though. That'll look really familiar. My wheel's squeaking more than it normally does, so... It might actually be time to do the thing. The thing where I... hammer out that nice bump that I have on there. That nice memory.
bottle of traffic right now, so thank you for looking. I appreciate you for looking and seeing me. Try to go right here to the Sizzler parking. If you know, you know. Yoink. We got the sheriff. And his lunch break, probably going for a little stroll. What's up, sheriff? That might look familiar. Oh yeah, nice. All right, we're back. So, <laughs> oh, she's moving. Looks like my uh, kickstand is a little wonked out. I might hammer that out or maybe I can step on it hard enough. No, I think I'm gonna hammer it out later. I think it's time to hammer out this, this room. I think it's, uh, look at that thing. <laughs> All right, anyway, thanks for joining me on this rip today in the Fullerton Loop. Got to rip it over the pavement princes. And uh, yeah, I got to get Sandy, took a good fall. But man, I gotta say, falling in off-road, man, it's it feels better than, <laughs> than falling on asphalt, I'll say that much. Check out UC Underground if you guys wanna get us some like pretty sick deals on, on a wheel out here. They are the best EUC retailer. Let's go, shout out Knight Riders. Best EUC team out there. All right. Looking forward to racing in New York coming up pretty soon. Amped Electric Games and also Tef1 and Apple Valley, all within the span of a few months, which is kind of crazy. A lot of intense racing happening the next few months. Stoked for it. Hoping to stay, get through it alive and, and healthy. So I hope to see you guys at those races. I hope you have a good time. I hope you have a good day. Stay safe out there. Cheers.